Alright guys, it's Monday night, uh, nearing 11 p.m. Setting on our second, third heavy lockdown here. Um, which, you know, shouldn't mean you got tons of time to train. But, uh, you know, you got one time a day you can leave your house. So you better make it count. So my time today leaving the house was going out and getting food. Um, and then spending a lot of time with family. Still got to work. And that puts me, instead of training at a, a nice hour in the evening, it puts me out here really, really late when I get a chance. So, uh, wife just trained, finished up with her, and then I'm out here for stone. So, um, it's a nice temperature. I do have a little bit of a sweat going on. Uh, as always, I don't have any anything crazy that I have to push on when it comes to stones. Um, so I just need to keep treading in the water, making small progress, uh, and, and more of less, just kind of holding where I'm at, being safe. Uh, and being at a position to where I can push if I have to. Uh, so I've got three stones out here, the 230, the 245, and the 285. Uh, light stones, the 285, almost always being my favorite stone out of all of them. Um, I want to hit some reps on them. I've got a plan in my mind uh, of what I can do, but it just depends on how much energy I have, how my biceps feel, how my back and hamstrings feel going into it. So. Um, I'm going to get warmed up, get some tacky on, see what uh, what kind of tacky is going to stick today. I've got all the Cerberus grades up here and in, in, in stock, so um, one at a time, let's get moving. Alright, now I like to put a, I like to put a tacky that spreads easy. This is actually the pro tacky. Uh, I like a colder weather tacky as a first layer on stone. I don't want the strongest one. Let me show you why. I want to cover as much of that stone as I can. So if I grab in a strange spot, I kind of stick to it. So I, I want the tacky to be kind of like that. And I'll just spread it on all these random spots and holes. Now I'm sure I'm going to run into problems if I do a big series. These other stones, the heavier stones will be dry. Well this one's going to be kind of wet. But we'll do what we can.
All right, guys, it is roughly 11.30s in the evening. Um, that was, it's not bad, that's 10 stones. Um, that was roughly what I wanted. So I, I did uh, four with the first one, 45 seconds rest in between. Uh, continuing roughly the 45 seconds. Took me probably 60 seconds by the time I moved the stones and then retackied. Um, the 245 for three, same thing, 45 seconds in between. Uh, moved it, 285 stone retackied. Uh, and three reps there. So, um, you know, I, I got a good training session. I got just a little bit of cardio and movement, which is what I need. My, my wind is still definitely down. I'm still sucking wind. Um, you know, on top of it just being a long day and I need food, I'm dizzy at the moment. Um, but, uh, you know, a little bit of grip work, forearms. Uh, biceps are still cramping up on my first several reps that I'm doing of the day. Um, so I don't know if I need even more rows as a warm-up, uh, even more stones as a row, uh, but I think where I'm doing this and I'm taking my time um, getting the rest in between the reps, it's not as dangerous if I just grabbed and exploded uh, with, you know, with, with the first set. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit of chest, a lot of lats. Uh, for me, it's a lot of hamstrings and a good bit of calves as well. Uh, my calves are still messed up. Nerves are still not firing the way they need to be, so um, the last three reps that I did with the 285, uh, that was a lot of great hamstring work. I have no idea how it looks on video, uh, but my hamstrings really got worked and pushed in a right way. Uh, one of my reps, I definitely felt it in my back. My spine popped a couple of different ways. So um, I'm gonna finish off with a couple more sets of banded hamstring curls um, and then get to work. And then at night, tonight before I go to bed, I'll bust out a bunch of reverse hypers. Uh, Cause again, I'm sitting in a chair at work and uh, that's not great. It's not great to finish training and then go sit in a chair, get your back all jacked up. So I get on the reverse hyper a couple times uh, just to take a break and uh, let my back reset. So um, I want to talk more soon about the tacky and how I apply the tacky. Um, I really think it's, it's, you definitely need to have a full variation of, of tacky going into contest prep. Um, you know, I, I would say at least four to six weeks out, you need to buy a jar. I'm not just selling this, you need to buy a jar of everything. So the, the servers, they've got the, um, I mean, I've got the grade four, three, and two. I don't know if there's another grade besides that, but here in Cyprus, there's no reason to have less than two. I mean, we're only gonna have a few, a select number of training sessions, weeks per year, where it's gonna be cool enough to use the grade number two. Um, most of, of everything that we do here is going to be the strongest they have and if you could mix it with concrete it would be even better so you know but i think no matter where you are unless you're here you definitely need to buy you know the, the two three and four and train with it see which ones that you like see which ones feels better because everyone's skin is going to be different um, maybe you're a heavy sweater like me i mean today when it came down to the stones um, I didn't put anything on my forearms at all, or my biceps, and that could be a big reason why I'm getting the bicep pain, it's because I'm only pulling with the hands. Uh, and I tried, after a couple of loads, to, to get some uh, tacky to stick on my forearms and biceps, but it just wouldn't. I was already sweaty and everything, it just slipped right off. So I had the tacky on my fingers, and it, didn't, it wouldn't come off my fingers to stick to my body. Um, if I had somebody else here with me, it would be a lot easier to spread and I could just get it to stick on me or I could make sure it was stuck to the stone. Again, that's why you take that thin stuff and spread it on the stone. So when your skin kind of grabs it, there's a good chance your skin is going to grab onto that tacky that's already on the stone. Uh, but you've got to pre-prepare for that. Um, but you need to know how each tacky responds, how it responds to you, what you like and what you don't like. And then going into the contest, you know, how many times you've gotten to a contest and it's just an amazing hot day. It's in the sun. You do suns in the stone, you do stones in the sun, but you're practicing stones inside in the shade with a fan on you. Um, so you bring your normal tacky and you get to contest day. Holy cow, it's not sticking. You should always show up to every contest with at least two kinds of your very own tacky, fresh jars. This is basic 101. Um, never show up and lose a contest because you've messed up on tacky. Uh, I, I can't understand people that show up to contests without tacky. Um, I went to Worlds and I knew that I wasn't going to make day two or day three or whatever it was going to be to do stones, but I still brought tacky because who knows? Who knows? And if I got there, if I happened to get there, you better doggone believe it that I was going to have the right tacky when it came to the stones. I'm not the kind of person that 
messes up on something small like that. So I can always get there. If I didn't want to bring it back with me on the plane, I could give it to somebody. Um, and, you know, somebody that helped me out, or like, you know, here, man, take some tacky. Or I could bring it back with me. No issues whatsoever. So, you know, guys, I'm going to go in and get some, uh, do some hamstrings. I'm going to go in and get some carbs in my body as quickly as possible. I am shaky and tired. It's been a long day. And uh, rest, recover, and uh, have a good, fun day tomorrow. No big plans. And then get back, hopefully, to my gym on Wednesday. Easter weekend this Sunday. Going to enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it, too.